Hello, hello everyone and welcome to the forexboat.com live trading examples on the real trading account. Today we are looking at the Swiss franc versus Japanese yen on the one hour chart. And today we will be looking at the trend following strategy. But before we start, I would like to remind you that information here is for educational purpose only and should not be considered as a financial advice. First off, let's have a look at the chart. This is one hour chart, so obviously this can take some time for price to move in our direction. But what is the direction and what is the strategy? What we are looking at is the red line, which is 200 exponential moving average. What is very important is that we see price failed to close above the moving average. This is very important as we can see price failed to close above. The next thing we need to see the Fibonacci levels. What I'm doing is applying Fibonacci on the corrective wave up after we broke the 200 exponential moving average. You see, we were looking for support to be found at 61.8. Usually this plays a very important role and we need to see is a breakout below 61.8 Fibonacci support level. This is very important that we see this breakout. This means that the price is indeed ready to move lower and it's time for potential sell. But overall, you cannot sell obviously at the lowest point on the chart after this breakout. This was quite low and therefore we must wait for a correctional move upwards. We saw the rejection here, which is good. We saw the breakout below the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level, which is also good. Now we waited for the correction and made sure there was yet another bounce of this level. If price would have broken, our trade setup would be invalidated. Another thing to watch is the Fibonacci retracement level. We had a clean bounce here as well, which is also very good for the short trade. And this is the reason basically we're looking for the sell trade at this point. Now, our actual trade would have been triggered right there. You can see this candle closed here and this would be our sell. While I was searching for the trade setups for this strategy, I found this setup on the Swiss yen, but it was a little late. Although I can see that the price is still in our favor and we can enter it. We can actually short as long as the price is in our favor. So you can see price is moving down, but we, we don't care since our entry still had to be lower. So this is our entry point and our stop loss would be above this high because here market usually what it does, it produces this sort of spikes. This is what we don't want to see. And this is actually a stop loss kickout move by the market from what I understand, even though our stop loss still would be there. Now for the targets, we could use different one, 161.8, but we're using the closest one. So while our entry is here, we will enter it slightly higher, okay? I will go with one lot, sell. Okay, so we had the sell initiated. We will place the stop loss just above this price. It can be just one pip above. As long as it remains below, we are shorting. But if it goes even one pip higher, we are out of this trade since the market can reverse. Another thing to watch is the break and close above initial rejection of the 200 exponential moving average. If that price is penetrated and we have one hour close above it, we would exit the trade also. So this is another exit signal. For this strategy, you would have to monitor the trade if you want to minimize your loss. But this is the key resistance level because there was initial bounce, price produced then low, new lower low and corrected once again. Overall, we will place the stop loss at 113.24 plus one pip, 113.25. Okay, we have our stop loss. You can see it right there. And now the take profit would be 127.2 Fibonacci retracement level. We also need to add a few pips to that price, which would make it 110.82. Right, so take profit, stop loss in place. This is our trade setup. Now let's see what is the risk reward ratio for this trade. We have entered 
right there and stop loss is 60 pips right the take profit is on the other hand is 180 pips which makes it the huge risk reward of three to one okay now another thing you, you can spot on the chart is obviously stochastic this is default settings for stochastic 5.3.3 we're using it for our entry. Once you see the rejection of 200 exponential moving average, after the breakout, obviously, of the 61.8 FIPS, we need to see the cross, stochastic cross. And this was actually at this blue line on the closing of this candle, we saw the cross. Market showed the weakness and that would be our sell signal. Obviously, in that case, in here, our risk reward would be not 3 to 1, but it would be at least 2.5 to 1, which is also very good. The minimum risk reward we are looking is 2 to 1. That's the minimum. If we don't have 2 to 1, we don't enter the trade. Make sure of that. Now here, if we would have entered here, our take profit is approximately 106 pips. In order to make risk reward 2 to 1 is 80 pips stop loss. That would make it right here slightly above. So we still would have a 2 to 1 risk reward. And because we entered at the better price, we have a better risk reward ratio. So that's good. The, the strategy is pretty simple. You, you need to make sure that the price did break below the 200 moving average. And then you draw a Fibonacci retracement level after the correction and the price went above the 200 moving average once again only after that you draw a fibonacci then you wait and see whether the market is weak or strong by looking at 61.8 you need to make sure that there was a close below 61.8 very important next very important thing is to see the rejection of one of the fibs so you can see I have placed the FIBs with all the levels here and price could have rejected any of them. What we need is to see clean bounce. This is also very important. The clean bounces is the key. You want to make your strategy clean. It has to be clear that you have no doubts and such bounces do provide this information. They tell you that it's a clean bounce market ready to reverse. On the other hand, it would be ideal if it would be a clean bounce of the 200 exponential moving average. In this case, you can adjust your money management strategy because you have more confirmation and higher probability of success. But in our case, we went with one lot. Uh, otherwise, if that would be a 200 EMA clean bounce, perhaps I would have gone with the higher. But at the same time, you can check the moving average. You can change, for example, to smooth and see that whether whether there was a clean bounce or not, or perhaps um, liner weighted. No, but we we could see here was a clean bounce. But and at the same time, you can see this was a clean bounce. So very good confirmation as well. You you could try potentially using multiple moving averages, but make sure it's 200 period. You can even place them on the chart. Let me do that so you can see it actually. Okay, now here we have all the moving averages of 200, which is simple moving average, exponential moving average, smooth moving average, and liner weighted moving averages. All of them will give you a very good clue as to what is happening, and we're looking for these clean bounces. So that would be a very good clean bounce, and this is also a good clean bounce. This gives us a sense of the weakness in the market and this is the reason we are shorting this trade could have been initiated here and imagine we would wait already approximately two days but this is not a big deal because it's a one hour chart you can easily expect this kind of ranges to happen or in these market conditions but overall what we expect is actually a good move to the downside here perhaps it will go even below our target Okay, so it could go to next FIBO level. It can go even further, 261 or 261 or 227.2. It can go much lower because it could be a good trend, which is just beginning. While we have our stop loss, take profit, and we made sure that we had a clean bounce off, we will leave that trade and see what happens. Clearly, there is a resistance I will just mark it 
there's a massive resistance at this area market failed to break it on two occasions now this is the third time and our entry obviously would be here for example if you see such a correction you could even add to your trade for example with the first trade you would be using 2.5 percent risk and you just wait for the better price if you see a better price like we see here you add another 2.5 percent to your risk in total, that would make a 5% risk on your trade in total, but you would get a better price on the second trade. For this trade setup, I would expect it to last probably several days because, you know, it's a one hour chart and we can expect it to go quite for a bit. But once you have a trade ready, why, what is the beauty of the long term time frames is because you have time to observe you can come back and see uh, whether the price closed above or not this massive resistance the close above would invalidate the trade setup and we what we can do is either reduce our stop loss to the high produced after the close or we can close the trade or we can wait and close it at break even there are several scenarios but i prefer guys to hold my trade I prefer stick to the trade setup, just put stop loss, put take profit, because monitoring the trade takes time. It really is time consuming to see, it can be stressful. And in order to avoid this kind of stress, just place your stop, place your take profit and just forget about it. This is the best way to trade. Now, I will leave this trade for now and we will come back to it once there will be some new price action. Okay, we are back to our trend following strategy on the Swiss Japanese yen and here are the results guys. You can clearly see what has happened. We entered our trade here at this price. The, the trade can be seen here down below. We entered it at 112.64. This was our sell trade. Uh, 113.25 hour stop loss and 110.82 hour take profit. It was a one lot trade and what we have managed to make is $1,808 on this trade, which was awesome. The trade actually lasted about 10 or 11 hours, which was pretty quick. I did expect it to go a bit longer, but here, here you go. The results are quite good. I'm very satisfied and I hope you did enjoy this trading example. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to put the like button and subscribe to our next videos.